Ever pondered about how the computer, that indispensable tool you're likely using right now came to be? Journey with us back in time, all the way to the 19th century, where the story of computers begins. It was a time when computer was a job title, not a machine, and people manually performed calculations. Then, an English polymath named Charles Babbage envisioned a device that could automatically perform computations. He called it the analytical engine. Babbage's invention was a mechanical marvel of its time. It was an ambitious project, a machine that could perform a variety of calculations using punched cards for instructions. Although Babbage never managed to build a full-scale working model due to financial constraints, his ideas were revolutionary. The analytical engine was the seed of the idea that led to the modern computer. Fast forward to the 1940s. The world was at war, and the need for faster, more accurate calculations was greater than ever. This led to the creation of ENIAC, or the Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. This colossal machine, occupying a room of 1800 square feet and weighing almost 50 tons, was the first general-purpose electronic computer. It was used to calculate artillery firing tables for the United States Army during the Second World War. Consider this. The smartphone you hold in your hand today is millions of times more powerful than ENIAC, yet without ENIAC and the leap in technology it represented, we wouldn't have the devices we take for granted today. These early computers were the stepping stones in the journey of computer evolution. They laid the groundwork for the technological revolution that was to follow. These machines, as rudimentary as they may seem now, were the giants on whose shoulders the modern computing world stands. So the groundwork was laid but the best was yet to come. The 1970s, a time of disco and bell-bottoms, also witnessed the birth of personal computers. Amidst the groovy tunes and dance moves, a revolution was brewing in garages and basements across America. The tech world was about to be transformed forever. The first personal computer to gain public attention was the Altair 8800. Released in 1975, this machine was a far cry from the sleek devices we're used to today. It didn't have a monitor or even a keyboard. Instead, users would input data using switches and read output through tiny lights. Sounds like a caveman's version of a computer, doesn't it? But the Altair 8800 was a game changer. It inspired a generation of tech enthusiasts, including a certain young man named Bill Gates. Gates, along with his friend Paul Allen, saw the potential of this clunky machine. They developed a version of the programming language basic for it, and the rest, as they say, is history. In the same era, another tech visionary was making waves. Steve Jobs, along with Steve Wozniak, launched the Apple Once in 1976. Unlike the Altair 8800, the Apple One came with a keyboard and could be connected to a TV for display. It may not have had the slick design of today's Apple products, but it marked the beginning of Apple's journey to becoming a tech powerhouse. So, while the 70s may be remembered for its funky fashion and catchy music, it was also a critical period in the evolution of technology. The birth of personal computers marked a turning point, moving from massive room-sized machines to devices that could fit on a desk. It was the dawn of a new era, led by two giants of the tech world, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. As these tech giants stepped into the scene, they brought with them a revolution. They transformed the way we work, play and communicate, shaping the world as we know it today, the birth of personal computers wasn't just about technology, it was about changing the world, one bite at a time. In the 1980s, the stage was set for a legendary rivalry, Mac versus PC. The computer world was about to be shaken by two giants, Apple and Microsoft, and their respective champions, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. This was not just a competition of technological prowess, but a clash of visions, design philosophies, and even wardrobes. In 1984, Apple launched the Macintosh. It was a revelation. For the first time, a computer had a graphical user interface and a mouse, making it user-friendly and approachable. It was like a friendly robot ready to assist rather than a daunting machine. Steve Jobs, ever the showman, unveiled it in an iconic commercial, implying a rebellion against the bland and oppressive PC establishment. The Macintosh was here to disrupt the status quo, and it did, in style. Meanwhile, Microsoft was brewing its own revolution. Windows, launched a year later, brought graphical interfaces to the masses. It wasn't as sleek or as pretty as the Macintosh, but it was affordable and accessible. Bill Gates, the pragmatic businessman, knew that to conquer the market, he had to be in as many homes and offices as possible. 
Windows might not have had the charisma of the Macintosh, but it had the numbers. The rivalry between Mac and PC was not just about technology, it was a spectacle. It was Steve Jobs, in his turtleneck and jeans, the visionary, the rebel, versus Bill Gates, in his sweater and glasses, the nerd, the pragmatist. It was the cool kid versus the class topper. It was, and still is, a clash of ideals. Apple and Microsoft, Mac and PC, Jobs and Gates, they pushed each other and in doing so pushed the entire industry forward. Their rivalry was not just about market shares or profits but about shaping the future of computing. They were the Beatles and the Stones of the computer world, each with their own fan base, each with their own style, and each with their own legacy. And so the battle lines were drawn. They still are. Today, we continue to reap the benefits of this legendary rivalry, as each new product, each new innovation, is a testament to their enduring competition. As we entered the 90s and beyond, computers took a leap into the future. The internet, with its vast network of information, transformed the way we used computers. They were no longer isolated machines but a gateway to a global network. The arrival of the internet was like a tech explosion and computers were at the epicenter. Suddenly, computers weren't just for work or play, they were the hub of our social lives, our news source, our encyclopedia, and so much more. As the internet era unfurled, computers evolved to keep up with the pace. The bulky desktops of the 80s started shrinking into sleeker, more portable designs. Enter the age of laptops. They brought portability to computing, freeing us from the constraints of a desk. But the evolution didn't stop there. As the 21st century dawned, computers continued to evolve and adapt, taking on new forms and functionalities. They became smaller, faster, and more powerful. And then, the revolution happened. The birth of smartphones. Smartphones were a game changer. They were essentially computers that fit into our pockets. We could carry them wherever we went, stay connected to the internet round the clock, and had a world of apps at our fingertips. The smartphone era marked a significant shift in the role of computers in our lives. Next came the tablets. They found a sweet spot between the portability of smartphones and the functionality of laptops. With touchscreens and a larger display, tablets became popular for media consumption, digital art, and even light productivity tasks. Through these transformations, computers evolved from being mere machines to an integral part of our lives. They moved beyond their traditional roles and permeated every aspect of our day-to-day -day activities. From ordering food to booking a cab, from watching a movie to catching up with friends, computers were at the heart of it all. Computers were no longer just machines, they had become an extension of ourselves. So, where are we heading next in this digital odyssey? The future of computers is a captivating realm, full of possibilities that once seemed confined to the realms of science fiction. As we look ahead, we can see the horizon marked by groundbreaking developments in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and virtual reality. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is already making waves, revolutionizing everything from healthcare to entertainment. Computers are learning to think, reason, and solve problems in ways that mimic the human brain. As this technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see computers becoming even more integrated into our daily lives, streamlining tasks and making complex decisions in a fraction of a second. Quantum computing, on the other hand, is still in its infancy but holds the potential to revolutionize computing as we know it. Where traditional computers use bits, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits, which can exist in multiple states at once. This gives quantum computers the ability to process information at an astonishingly fast rate. Imagine performing millions of calculations simultaneously. That's the power of quantum computing. As we move towards this future, we might see computers solving problems in minutes that would take today's supercomputers thousands of years to crack. And then there's virtual reality. It's not just for gamers anymore. VR is poised to transform a multitude of industries. From immersive education experiences to virtual tourism, the possibilities are endless. With the advent of more advanced and affordable VR technology, we could soon find ourselves living in a world where virtual and physical realities are seamlessly blended. As we stand on the brink of exciting new frontiers, one thing's for sure, the evolution of computers is far from over. We are witnessing a revolution, a new era where computers are not just tools, but partners in shaping our world. And as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, who knows what the future holds. Fascinating times are indeed ahead and we can't wait to see what's next.
As we stand on the brink of exciting new frontiers, one thing's for sure, the evolution of computers is far from over. From the analytical engine to AI, we've come a long way, haven't we? We've journeyed from the birth of personal computers, witnessed the epic Mac versus PC rivalry, and surfed the waves of the internet era. Key players such as Steve Jobs and Bill Gates have profoundly shaped this digital landscape. As we look to the future, who knows what incredible innovations lie ahead. So next time you switch on your PC or swipe on your smartphone, remember, you're not just using a device, you're holding a piece of history in your hands.